Hi, this is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts, and in this video I want to show you how I use Password Corel to do much more than manage passwords. Uh, this is a program that's a free program for PC only, but you can see down in number 12 that I have found programs similar for Macintosh and another one for PC. And what I want to show you is an easy way to use this to organize not only passwords and URLs um, for different sites on the internet that you might have, but also how to use this to maintain other information that you might want to have easy and ready access to on your computer. So you can see I've listed here all the different things that I tend to use it for. I'll put my passwords and URLs for websites on the um, on password corral but I also keep different codes that I create whether it's kickstart cart one shopping cart opt-in or buy button codes redirect information for pages that I create for affiliate products that we're promoting I will use affiliate links to cloak those and I want to keep track of what um, affiliate redirect links I have created where I've used them and where they direct I want to keep track of the programs that we are a part of. I want to keep track of Gmail and other email accounts that I may have created for a variety of purposes. And oftentimes we will put videos out on YouTube and other free public video hosting sites. And I want to be able to collect the embed codes and know where I've put what and then be able to quickly just go in here and grab the embed codes instead of having to log in to get those when I want to put them on a blog or other website. I'm members of forums so I want to keep track of the logins and passwords for my forums. When I purchase a product or course I keep track of that within Password Corral. And then I keep a variety of just miscellaneous resources and information within Password Corral as well. So let's just go in and check out how I use this so you can see how to do it. And remember, number 11 is where you can download uh, Password Corral, or you could just do a search for Password Corral. And then number 12 gives you the P Keep Pass download information. Now, this is also a free program. Uh, that you can use much as I'm showing you how I use Password Corral. Here we are. I've opened up my Password Corral uh, little application and I put in my username and my password. Now I'm just going to click log on and it will open it up for us. So here we are within the actual program and I've created a folder here called Demo and I want to show you how to go ahead and do that but you can see on this side we have all of the different folders that I have created these little X's mean that there are subfolders under those so for example under resources if I click that you can see that I have all of these subfolders that give me a variety of information resources websites and other um, things that I would want to be able to have easy access to that I programmed in here so here I've created demo and let me show you how easy it is to create a folder. If you just go up here to keep new password group and click on that, I'm just going to create a demo 2 folder and I want it as a top level group and there it is. It's just that fast. Now if you wanted to put new password information in here, you would just click on this little button that says new password and you would be able to enter data. So I'm going to create TAST and it's going to be DEB. It's going to be password. If you wanted to create a random password for you, you can just click this. That would make it a little bit more secure, but for this example I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to put in a quick little Google. You can put your email here. And then down here you can put in any comments that you want to remember and it will maintain a lot of information down here. If you have for example a password that expires you would be able to click this and say yes this password expires every month or every 30 days and it actually is right now 15 days until it expires. When it comes up to expiration time a little box will pop up when you open Password Corral and it will ask you to reset that password. Now that won't reset it on the website. You'll also need to go back there and enter that password as well. But this is where it will remind you that you need to do that and you will be able to change the password here. So you would just click OK. 
Now the cool thing is that over here, if you click on the internet URL, if you've put in the www or the HTTP, when you click on that it will open up a web browser and take you to that website. Unlike some programs, it won't enter the password and username automatically, but it will maintain that for you so that you can enter it when you get there. So that's how you can keep track of that. Now let's say you wanted to create a subfolder. If you had, like I do, a resources um, or an affiliate programs or whatever and you wanted to organize them further, you would just click on the folder, create another folder and call it subgroup or whatever you wanted to call it and create it as a child of the selected group that you have highlighted. And now you see that it shows up under there and you can just go ahead and continue to um, add password groups or other information to your uh, password corral just by clicking on the, the new password. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to export your passwords because from time to time as you know technology can glitch and you don't want to have secured all of your passwords and not exported them in case you do end up with a glitch and um, password corral stops working for you. So you would go ahead and click on, you could import passwords with this if you have them in another program, but if you click on export passwords, you would be able to use this button to navigate to a place on your computer where you want to save those passwords, and then you could export password lists, either the entire list or just a segment of the list by clicking on OK. You can also set up an automatic export of passwords, and the way you would do that is by setting up your program options. When you go into program options, it's going to let you set a number of different uh, preferences. What I want you to do is go to options and export. And here, you can set it up so that it automatically exports your passwords on exit. Again, you would navigate to where you want <coughs> these exported on your computer. And then what will happen is that every time you close Password Corral, it will export all of your passwords so that you will be able to back those up on an external hard drive or other uh, program. Or if something just happens to Password Corral, you would be able to um, reload the program and then import your passwords back into the program so that it functions well for you. So this is a pretty sweet way that you would be able to keep track of tons of data using Password Corral or KeepPass um, so that you don't spend a lot of time searching for things on your computer that you have found really valuable and you want to be able to get access to quickly. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, we have other videos like this over at businessbuildingshortcuts.com as well as blog posts and other information that might help you get your business online as fast as you can and save you time and frustration. You have a great day. Bye-bye.